your thoughts on the rivalry and the intensity of these games? Yeah, you know, the crowd's going to be into it. I think both teams are going to be amped up, um, you know, fighting fighting for this kind of the same playoff spot, too. So I think, you know, for us, it's going to be a little added added intensity coming down the home stretch of the year. So last few I've been a part of have been, been super fun. Um, you know, whether it's here or down in Portland, they're, they're always intense. You've played uh, at Portland as a member of other teams in yep. the Sounders. How is it different uh, when you're just, you know, when you're a, not a random team, but you're not the Sounders going in there as opposed to being the Sounders going yeah, in Yeah, my first ever game and start in my rookie year was at Portland. So, uh, you know, for me, I always have fond memories of playing there. Um, it was it was intense back then. It, you know, for me, it was kind of the first time I'd played in front of that many people. So that's kind of what always I think about. And, you know, it's it's definitely even more intense playing with Seattle. But it was a fun place for me to play uh, in other places, too. And they obviously are uh, in search of, of some you know, a win here, yeah. and then you guys are coming in. How important is it for you guys to establish some, you know? Yeah, I think, you know, for us, um, you know, going, we feel good with how we're playing, not just the results, but, um, you know, starting to turn a corner in terms of, you know, how we're playing and kind of trying to dictate tempo in games. And I think for us, whether we're home or away, we're going to go down there and try to do the same things we've been doing at home the last couple of games. Are you even able to dictate the tempo in the midfield in terms of Ozzy back there and along with Gustav yeah, and then you guys? guys um, you know, that work hard defensively, um, but also are comfortable and calm on the ball. So I think for us, it's about kind of finding that balance of, of when to, you know, hit quickly. And I think you saw that in a couple of our goals this weekend, um, but also when to kind of establish possession in their half and, and be patient, and that also led to a couple goals. So I think for us, being able to kind of score both ways um, is key in, a, in our kind of last 10 games. It seems like you've established yourself in this uh, starting 11. Uh, how has it been different, or, or how have you played any different, or the team in general? Yeah, just, you know, having the confidence to impact the game and help the team win games. And I think, you know, with every win that's come since I've been playing, I've gotten more confidence in terms of, you know, what I bring and beyond just the goals and assists, I think, you know, the doing the little things to set guys up in the right spots. And I say the same thing over and over. But, you know, for me, if I'm doing my job well, it makes everyone else's job easier. And, you know, that that's going to lead to some team wins. How has that been, uh, that chemistry with you and Raul Reedy as you being a guy that likes to distribute the ball kind of deep? Yeah, he's good. You know, he's always moving. Um, you know, I like playing with Will before, too. So I think for me, um, you know, guys, the guys are different. But I think just still establishing a connection with Raul in terms of when to try to get in behind and then when to play in defeat and run off of him. But I think, you know, over the next couple of games, I think it's, it's you're going to only see it getting better with me, um, with Nico, with uh, with Christian, and hopefully it leads to some, some more goals. He went from, I, it was, I think it was like 16 touches uh, to 40 over yeah. the last two games. Do you feel like you guys are figuring out in the attack how to get him more involved? Yeah, in I think in practice, too, we made a conscious effort kind of the last week or two working on you know, not just going on the outside, but how can we get the ball to him? Um, you know, obviously, you know, you're not going to force it into him if it's not on. But I think for us, if at least we're aware of where he is and his movement, um, then I think, you know, we as players have the freedom to, to play that pass or to kind of select to do something else. But as long as we see him and, and his movement, I think we'll be all right. Has his movement changed in that? While you guys are looking for him, is he also made some intricate moves towards the ball, away from the ball to get it? Yeah, and I think he, you know, he was doing that from, from the get-go, but I think for us, whenever you're playing with a new player, it's it's never going to be the perfect and from game one. So I think for us, it's not just about you know looking at tape of games, but it's about playing with guys in practice. And I think just playing, you know, whether it's small-sided 5v5 or 11v11, I think you start to learn you know, what his preferences are, and I think you're able to kind of better suit your play to, to help him be successful.